Thanks for checking out my latest lightsaber. I just finished this one over the past weekend. I'm super excited about it. I've been working on the design for it for like over a year, maybe a year and a half. And I, you know, I've actually started the saber over a year ago by cutting pieces, cutting shroud pieces, and gathering the parts together. And only recently uh, was I able to continue to work on it a little further until uh, I found out my friend from the forums, from the FX Saber forums, Dan, who is Rev and Reborn on the forums, he came by and uh, I used the opportunity to complete the Saber. He actually uh, wired the entire insides of the Saber for me while I completed the hilt. So that was like super nice of him. Uh, we both had a good time. It was fun. And uh, now I just have this super awesome lightsaber, uh, which I've been dreaming about for like over a year now. So thanks to Dan for wiring up the insides of the saber. I'm calling this one the Quiflex. So it's a cross between a Qui-Gon and a Graflex. So I hope you can see those similarities between those sabers. I try to incorporate some different cues from both of those, which I really love those designs, while also maybe trying to make it look a little more futuristic or something uh, with these TCSS parts, these MHS parts that I have, uh, all the shroud pieces and stuff. I wanted to do something sort of like the last saber I did. I had like multiple shroud pieces on the saber and that's really what I'm into now. I'm into like getting the hilt a little thicker and a little heavier. You know, some people don't like that. Some people want it thinner. I wanted a thicker hilt with multiple shrouds. I'm calling it as, as almost as a joke, multiple shroud technology, MST. So that's what I put on this one. That's what I sort of have planned for a lot of the sabers I'm making. Just like adding just multiple shrouds. I think it's really cool. So most of the parts on here are from uh, the custom saber shop and the soundboard is the best soundboard out there. I think this is the Plector Labs Crystal Focus version 6 LS. So that's the sweet thing about this saber. Irv from Plector Labs to thank for this card. He gave me last year around this time actually, around Christmas time and he had a contest online and it was on the FX Saber forums. So thank you Irv, that um, card you provided is in this Saber. So I hope the design is like worthy of it. I think it is. I'm thinking it's pretty cool. So um, I'll show you guys the blinkies and stuff like that. So we got the TCSS button, blue ring button, blue accent, um, auxiliary button and bar graph and thank you to Solace Ver on the FX Saber forums he made me a custom bar graph I picked the colors it was super awesome um, goes perfectly with with this saber the way I had it planned all along so that is like super great really really cool bar graph <laughs> I'm really happy with that this is the saber up close. Got the rice port and the um, 2.1 millimeter in the pommel there. Got the 2 watt speaker with a lot of resonance. The saber's loud. The CoverTech black wheel there. Go along with the sort of, I hope, Qui-Gon-esque grips, although, you know, they're not deep grips by any means, they're just look to look like that. I got the first shroud piece cut to a sort of what I hope is like a futuristic version of the Qui-Gon shroud, and then a multi-level shroud piece there, and then another multi-level shroud piece which connects to the emitter, which I hope looks like a Graflex type of thing. We got the TCSS bunny ears, which I'm thinking are pretty cool. I like them on other sabers. So I 
incorporated that into this design. I think it balances it out pretty nice, this beefy pommel down here. And those two levels are bridged by the final piece of this multi-shroud, which is the control box. So the control box, I'll try to zoom in, the control box extends from sort of mid part of the saber all the way up to underneath the bunny ears. And you have the blade retention screw here. Let's see if you can see inside. Yeah, you can see that there's no LED. There is a DIN plug. And that's the coolest part about this saber. You have the ignition, the retraction of the string blade. It's a string blade. And a bunch of other features. So. The string blade that I got for this saber was one that uh, I didn't make. I ordered it a year ago, maybe a little over a year ago. I got it a while back, and it's from Makoto. So it's a V3 Super Plus. Now, well, this is this is where it gets a little tricky because I ordered green, green, yellow. So what I, what I wanted was a V3 Super Plus with two green strings and one yellow string. So it would be almost like a Super Plus plus 50%. A Super Plus has two V3, basically, Super Plus LED strings in there. This one, um, what, I, what I ordered was supposed to have three LED strings of a green, a green, and a yellow. I was going to do a green, green for the Qui-Gon color and the yellow will come in for the clash, uh, clash Flash FOC. But what I actually got when I tested the blade is white, white, green. And at first I was a little confused, but then I actually decided that maybe this was the best thing that could happen because my favorite color is the Viridian. So how about the green mixed with the white would that make Viridian? And then a white could come in for the clash flash. So that's exactly how we wired it. Set up the blade to work with this DIN plug, the one on the Plector Labs PDF for the, uh, the manual. Perfect, works perfectly. And how I line this up is I look for where I put the blade retention last time. There's a little mark, okay? And now I'm lining that up. Of course I could put a mark, but there's already a mark with the blade retention. I'm lining that blade retention mark up, and it snaps into place. And then I have my blade retention screw. So what do you guys think? I think it's a nice Viridian. So you can see how it goes in and out, I hope, which is the feature of the string blade. Really awesome. That combined with all the awesome sound specifications of the Plector Labs Crystal Focus. And I'm actually just running all the fonts that Irv provided for me with the card. So it's Nova Star Episode 2, Black Star Episode 4, Phoenix Sword, Ancient Saber. And I actually adjusted through the rice port on this saber uh, all the gesture, all the gesture mods. But I left the fonts the way they were. Um, even though I have easy access to SD card, down here I just unscrew the pommel. SD card is uh, right here, basically. Uh, I get to it with tweezers, not a problem. Um, I went to the SD card, I decided not to change the fonts, and then I went back to the rice port, adjusted the gesture some more, just decided to play with these fonts for a while, they're super awesome, I think all of them are Nova Star fonts.
So one of the other features is a, is a strange type of blaster deflection thing that you can tell in the video. It's very cool. It's like a random blaster deflection thing. And then you may, you know, see if you could tell with the white, the white string coming in for the flash is pretty dramatic in person. So you guys, I could probably talk about this saber all night long, but I'll just swing it around a couple times so you guys can see uh, how cool it is, and uh, then I'll give it a rest. And if you want to check out any more on this saber or on like thousands of other sabers, go to fxsaberforums.com and uh, join up or just check it out. Just lurk in the background, just be a guest, do whatever. And uh, check out all the cool lightsabers. I think if you want to buy stuff, you have to become a member. Um, but uh, beyond that, you know, you can you can check more information about this one out. I'll just try to write everything down uh, on FX Sabers and throw up more pictures and stuff like that. This is one of the fonts that activated slower. So the green string and the white string don't mix perfectly. Maybe as I rotate the saber you can tell it's not completely even, but I think it's pretty cool. It's a really dramatic blade color, I think. Very cool.